Okay, so what you see here is just one piece of a uh, much bigger build out that I'm doing here in the bed. Got things broken down pretty simple right now, so I thought this would be a great chance to video just this one piece and show you what we've got going. So what you see here is the Ryobi Link box. If you haven't checked out Ryobi Link, jump online, check out the Home Depot website, and you'll see a little more what it's about. But it's very similar to the Milwaukee Packout system, actually owned by the same company, just a different division, um, different set of products, but they're very similar, uh, except that the boxes and things are actually different dimensions. So this one works out really well for what, what I needed here. So what I've got is my secondary battery here, LifePo 4. 100 amp battery and a Renogy 50 amp charge controller along with Bluetooth ability of course to work with the with the uh, app but what this is doing is this is wired in now from the chassis battery the primary battery so that when I'm driving down the road that battery will charge this battery uh, which is great but I also now have solar input I've got a 100 amp uh, solar panel up on top of the Jeep and I've actually already been out on a couple of trips and parked for a couple of days. And that solar panel kept that thing charged up nicely. So the thought process here is a couple of things. One, I'm not running down my chassis battery when I'm parked for a couple of days. This battery by itself parked for a couple of days camping has run my big old Dometic fridge uh, without issue off of that solar panel without even making a dent in the battery capacity. So it's been pretty impressive. I've got some other things I'm gonna be wiring in here as well. Um, but for right now, I've still got it fairly simple. I'll give you a little shot of the inside with the wiring. And I'll go into a lot more detail on about this on a uh, upcoming video where I'll get into the actual build, um, where I put everything, what everything is. You'll see right here, I've got a 12 volt port. Um, solar inputs back there. The battery input is back there. Got a couple more uh, fittings and pieces that I've got to put in here, but overall, what I wanted here was a completely portable setup so we can pull this out if we're at the beach and we want to power the cooler at the beach, or let's say we want to take the Wrangler on a trip. We can just take this out of the Gladiator, put it in the back of the Wrangler, run it that way. So nice portable power setup for um, lots of different you know scenarios. One of the reasons I picked this particular box, this Ryobi Link, was the size to fit this battery. This ridge that you see right here in the, in the lid actually lays down perfectly along this ridge on the battery when that lid is closed. So that battery is not moving vertically at all. I also cut this board, which of course everything is screwed to here to fit perfectly and take up the extra space and push that battery. That battery does not move anywhere inside that box. So when this is all closed up and clamped down that battery is 100% secure in there and not moving around neither is the charge controller or anything else so like I said before I'm going to do a much more detailed video soon on how exactly I built all of this just to give you those ideas so for now I just wanted to share what I've been working on you'll see some links down in the uh, comments or down in the description of the video to get you to some of these parts if you're looking at building something like this um, if you've got a friend, make sure you please share this with them and get them to subscribe as well so that they can see the uh, detailed video that's coming up. Um, and if you guys have any questions, of course, always ask me in the comments. Send me a private message here or Instagram or Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Uh, like and subscribe, share, all that good stuff so I can keep this stuff coming at you. And I uh, hope you guys will stick around for the next videos because I'm pretty excited about this overall bed build out. It's going to be pretty elaborate. Um, but like I said, I'm doing it in pieces here, so you're going to see several different videos covering uh, different aspects of it. See you guys next time.